Okay guys, here's a video of something I've been doing with the uh, Andrews Mr. RC Sound Systems, a uh, Pro B unit and a Budget A unit. Uh, this is my Budget A unit sitting right here in front of me right now. And I asked Andrew to make a few changes on this uh, when he sent it to me, like I did with my uh, B unit I got here last month. Normally, all the components are soldered on with these rigid uh, wires is what he's been doing and uh, they're, so, they're solid gauge wires and they're a little harder to flex with bend and short okay I removed all these from my B unit which is in my Falk Wolf here right now my FMS Falk Wolf and I replaced them and made a few changes so that all the units are interchangeable and you can effectively take an A and a B unit and turn them into each other and at the same time take a pro and a budget version and combine them and turn them to, into each other as well. Anyway, this is basically what I've done. Normally all these units would be up around the up around the card he's got stuck on here with uh, 3M sticky tape. Now, I, he did Velcro from this for me on this one so that I can remove the units, which is a good idea on all future units, uh, plus what I did to the other one and asked him to do, and replace all the wiring okay with basically servo leads okay take a tip a typical extension uh you know with a male or female either in cut it in half or you know get servo leads but anyway we're using standard gauge servo leads okay the amplifier card that would normally be mounted up here i've got it all separated with the exception of the speaker okay here and um, he just soldered to the existing wires here. I normally took the soft wire and went all the way to the speaker as well and got rid of these two. But this works as well. That's what I did on my other one. Okay. They would be soldered here. Those, these, these wires I was talking about earlier would have been soldered up underneath here if you can kind of see it. Okay. And what he's done for me here, like I did on my other one unit at a request here, is I replaced all those with longer servo leads so that I can spread these components out throughout the plane and just mount the speaker in, in any location I want. In my particular one, it's mounted in the bottom of the airplane here. Okay, so what would have normally been the lead here that goes from the amplifier to the sound card, okay, took a servo lead, which could be an extension, okay, cut it in half, and I put the, I put the female end on the sound cards okay on an A module there would only be one lead coming off here okay you'll see that I've got a second one here and I'll explain that in a minute on a on a budget for on a pro version there would be two because the other lead would go to your sound card which you would have on there an A version wouldn't have that so if you put two leads on the sound card be it A or B it really doesn't matter pro or budget okay you can effectively take this card and the gun card and they can fit any version you want okay all his versions ultra mini twin so forth and spread these components throughout the airplane which I'll show up here in the hatch of my Falk 190 okay now plug that in to the amp to the uh, a version card here and I've got four selectable engines engine sounds from the a version if I want to be, if I want the B version, I just simply unplug this card, put the V version. Now I've got four more different sounds I can use on this same uh, setup here. Now then, if I want if I want to add the gun card, I just simply plug it into the second pigtail lead coming off here, which would normally be attached on a on a pro on a pro version A or B, but on a buzz, budget version, it's not. Simply solder this onto any version you got, and if you happen to have a gun card, and you have to put the male mating lead on the gun card as well, plug it in here. Now you can just add in a gun card real quick, and add gun sounds, plug it into here, plug the other end into your aux channel receiver that you're going to be using that, you know, your, your switch on, or whatever, you know, aux 8, 7, or what have or combine it, mix it with the channel, it doesn't matter, and plug in. Then the, the normal lead that he's, he's provided here, which would go to the uh, receiver channel or to, uh, normally this would go to a Y and get wired in with your throttle or go to an aux channel and be programmed mixed internally through the radio uh, to your um, throttle channel so that you can sync up. I actually mixed mine because I had better, uh, more accurate syncing with the engine sounds coming on with the motor 
doing it that way as opposed to using the Y harness. Even though others are using the Y, it works just as well. I was having some particular problems, it's just me. Okay, now then, also coming off of the amplifier card would be another lead. It's, this was sitting right here, up on top of this, and then the this is the voltage regulator card that would normally have been wired in here through a set of short little leads that he's got here he would put on it. These are solid core wires. Pull, desoldered all those, take those off, and now what I'm using here is a, I'm using typical red and black servo wire. I opted to use JST connectors because I also use these for my BECs, my external BECs, which is really nothing more than this is right here. Is a as a voltage regulator he's he's designed and got up here. But now I can unplug these from here, and this end on the other end of it, which you when when you receive it normally doesn't have any leads on it. You put the lead on it of your choice. I'm using JST connectors. Okay, uh, a lot of people make a special Y coming off their battery depending on the connector, and you know. This would go to the ESC, this plugs into the battery, and then this would plug into your sound system. But this is kind of big and bulky, and you've got the silicone wire. Uh, I did this originally. I ended up changing this out from my Falk Wolf later because we decided to go with these JST connectors. Now I don't need all this on there, which is a little, little extra added, a few grams of weight. Now we're using just simple JST connectors on servo leads because these things don't draw more than 2 amps. It's closer to about one, one and a quarter, one and a half when this thing's at full volume cranked up. Okay, there's a real low amp draw and voltage draw, so there's no need for all the heavy gauge wiring. Standard 22 gauge servo wire works just fine. Put it on a JST connector and then you can unplug it and remove it. Plus, I can mount the speaker, as you'll see here in a minute when I show you more of this airplane. And these are uh, basically individualized. I can actually remove these completely out of the airplane without taking any of the components, but if I have a problem, and replace it with another one from another unit real quick and be up and running in no time without having to rip out the entire system to troubleshoot it. And that applies to all the modules. Same thing goes for the sound card and so forth. Budget A would have the amplifier, voltage regulator, and a sound card on it. A pro version would have the addition of one additional card that would have would be the sound card that would be that would have a pigtail coming off that goes to the receiver plus a pigtail that would go off to this that you plug in this other one into your sound card, uh, which gives you the option of guns, to add guns to your sound on whatever channel you happen to put it on. Now then in the Falk Wolf 90 right here, this is the hatch area, and the reason I did this was so I could spread the components out and not have them all around it. If you'll see in the bottom, behind that servo there, you'll see the speaker. It's actually mounted in the fuselage in a hole cut between the spars and the wings that I saw somebody else did on groups, which is a brilliant idea. And I separated all the components and here's the Pro B sound card. Here's the Pro B gun card, which is used on any of the versions that's, that's a Pro version. That if you put a servo lead on, change the lead out to a servo and split it, and do that, that Y split connector with two females off of your sound card, then you can actually plug, I can take this off and plug it into my A that I was just showing you a minute ago, and now I have gun sounds on that A card. Now if I want to change, take this B card out of the airplane here and put the A card in because I want a different set of sounds because there's only four on this one, okay? Now I put the A in here, now I've got four more, change, uh, four more options of different sounds without having to pull the entire system out just by simply unplugging it, plugging it back into the receiver, plug the pigtail in, plug this in, and I'm good to go. And now I have the option of the other four sounds and then just simply tuck away your wires. I've made my leads a little longer than necessary for this particular plane because I didn't know how long it was because different planes are going to require different lead length and you can even use servo extensions if what you make is too short. So basically you kind of turn these into servos and just put leads on them to extend. The voltage regulator card I mounted here on a piece of Velcro and you'll see the wires traveling up here. My JST connector split here between it and the amplifier and my amplifier is mounted on the lid. Now I can keep the amplifier far away from all the electronics, which if you get close to electronics can cause you some noise in your system. So this gives you the better choice of being able to move it wherever you want to isolate it as far away from everything else, just like you would a U-back or anything else. Now then, battery lead right here. Here's the servo lead coming off of the uh, ESC, and you'll see that 
I've soldered in a JST connector which goes to that voltage regulator that powers the Mr. Sound RC system. On my particular setup here, you'll notice I have another one coming off here because my UBEC is also plugged in the same way so that I can actually disable the internal um, BEC features of the, of the ESCs that come with them and I can use my own choice of external BEC if I want just by plugging it. Plus if I have a problem with one it fails on me or burns out I can just simply unplug it real quick using a JST connector I'm trying to find out where it's at here while I hold the camera. Here we go. And I do this with all my planes. Here we go. There. There's the UBEC. And I take the connector that I'm going to plug the battery into and I run two additional red and black leads off of them with JSTs on them and then I can plug in other power devices that I need to it. In this case it happens to be the external UBEC and the uh, voltage regulator that powers the Mr. RC sound system. And it's a lot smaller and easier to tuck away when you're working in a tight confined little fuselage area like, in the, like we have with these 1400 millimeter and 800 millimeter FMS birds as opposed to having two big bulky connectors which I had originally done with this custom made Y splitter on here that would plug into the battery and then plug into this and then the other end went to the voltage regulator which I had 14 gauge silicone wire on like this that plugged into there. I removed that and went right down to servo gauge wire and it's still plenty perfect and I have no voltage problems whatsoever powering the system. So that's what I've done to a uh, Mr. RC Sound Pro Budget B and a budget A system. So I have now I have all eight sounds and I can put them in any airplane I want, make my choices just by simply swapping out the sound card. This happens to be the A and two leads on it. The only thing you have to do is make sure you have two leads coming off of this end and then that goes to your receiver. And you and the sound card. Now then if I want to add the sound card to an A, like I said earlier, this is simply I just pop it off here at Velcro, unplug it from the receiver and from the sound card, plug it into the air, this one that I'm going to put in the, in, into that version 7 Mustang, and now I've got sound card on my, on my uh, A system here, which normally wouldn't have it. Same thing. If this voltage regulator happens to fail, I can simply take the one from this A here, plug it into it, and be right back up and running, and vice versa. So now all the units are compartmentalized and turned into individual swappable units just like it would be a servo or anything else and it works absolutely great I'll fire this plane up for you real quick here let you listen to it this is all stock um, Mr. RC sound system driving just one two inch speaker that comes with it but I've actually got mounted see if I can pick it up here and show it to you guys in the bottom of the airplane right between the two spars and there's that that is a metal mesh screen that's actually poked through that foam that when I take that piece off it actually comes off with it and all it does is cover up the hole. The speaker is actually hot glued into the fuselage so it stays intact with the fuselage when I'm moving it. So I need to set the camera down here while I plug this in. I've also took the piece of foam that goes in behind here and hollowed it out. It actually breathing may or may not be able to see my fingers moving back behind that that's normally there but we'll plug in the power here now then the air airplanes live and ready to go simply poke my wires down there I just have my JST connector here that comes off of it and I just simply plugged it in to my sound system and now my sound system's live Now then, by doing this also, you can mount this. Uh, one of the other advantages is you can get easier to your volume control. Okay? So right now I've got this thing cranked up and just slightly backed off. Oh, just a little smidge of a turn here. And I can also change out my sounds real quick by changing these dip switch positions just by opening the hat without having to dig back down in there again. So here's kind of what it sounds like. I don't have a propeller on it, but they're actually perfectly synced up.
and the gun switch is on an aux switch there so it's really nice and you don't have to have that if you don't want it. if you taking it out it does draw a little bit of extra amps on it which brings the sound down a little bit by taking it off it actually but it's uh, we'll bring the sound up a little bit but honestly it's really not noticeable at all so that's what I've done here because of the way this hatch was laid out different airplanes are going to have different configuration different hatch layouts this will help this helps compartmentalize it and adds, adds a whole new realm of, of versatility to his uh, his product and the sound units there and I love them the the possibilities with his sound units there for the for the budget price that they are and the the simple and ease of use of them is just really astonishing and I'm very I'm really very impressed okay they're not Cadillac systems but you know you're not paying for Cadillac systems and you can actually do a lot with them and they work perfectly for these 1400 millimeter birds because the stuff like uh, the Bendini and the Mr. R the um, sound system from the from Canon and stuff like that, they're a little heavier and they require usually an extra battery. I'm powering this one right off the flight pack and I don't expect to lose any more than maybe 30 or 40 seconds of flight time just by powering a sound system like this and add a whole new realm to my flight experience when I get a, when I get to go out and fly this thing. It does not take away that much. These things draw max 2 amps I've been able to measure off of it and that's it. So very nice systems. I'm very impressed and by making just a few little changes which I'm sure Andrew will probably be doing this in the future for all his future units because it really adds something to his product here and I, I really like it. So Andrew I hope you like what you're seeing here. I kind of did this video for you so you can see what I was talking about. Hard to describe in so many words. Sometimes the pictures would help and I threw a post up on the RC groups for you with some more pictures and explanations but this is how I would actually be doing all the rest of the units and adds a whole new set of versatility to what you can do there. You can actually, you don't have to have so many versions. You can have one version with just options by doing this. And uh, this would apply both to your Ultra, the Minis, the Twins, and all that kind of stuff and eliminate having to have so many. So, and real easy to do. Uh, and like I said, just, it's, it's outstanding. I'm very impressed with your product. I love it. I'm looking forward to actually doing a twin unit and doing this same thing with him and being able to intermix all the different components in different airplanes and move them around without really having to pull the whole unit out. So you're on the right track and I'm impressed. If you need any help, feel free to give me a call. You guys have got my number. You know where I'm located on the groups. And there it is. One more time on the Falk Wolf. I've got the BMW sound in right now. I can just easily take my volume up and down just by reaching right there. There it is at max. Okay, I'll try and get this up on YouTube and we'll be playing around with some more. Look forward to talking to you guys there. Later out, this is the Moon Man.